Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series, OneDrive, and we are in device access tab now. So you see this bottom part is grayed out. Uh, that's do you have to have MDM uh, mobile device management, but the device access is all the mobile devices. So Alexa, allow access only from specific IP address. This is very common for Office 365. Everything is in the cloud, so you want to uh, have some control. Like mm, you don't want anybody to just connect from any network or any device on any IP address. So if you want them, you can put that uh, like the address range that if that range matches then and only then allow them access uh, <clears throat> so you see 172 that's a normally a private IP address range uh, uh, you can put the IP address itself like you can put different you can put a range so it's when you put dot zero slash 16 so it means those 17 devices from 0 to 16 if they have this IP address then they can access it and they even have support for IPv6 again if you have seen all the previous videos we talked about that that you are not locked out so if as a admin I put an range over here and I'm using this machine and this my address does not fall in any of these categories I will be accessed out and I actually will have to go to one of those machines that have these IP addresses to log back in and do the changes so that would be funny the next one is I'm gonna uncheck it allow access from apps that you don't use modern authentication like if there are apps that are older one we saw it with the in case of office 2012 so you don't want to uh, give them access or you want to uh, for mod modern authentication like uh, this could be a security thing so again it's not up to you you are an admin you are not defining policy you are implementing them basically whatever you are being told you just go and do it so if they want like the company wants any uh, app to be <coughs> um, older app to access yeah you click on it um, that's it that's all your job so with the mo MDM mobile device management I know it because um, I will actually cover in one of the videos that what, what book I was actually reading when I realized that uh, a lot has changed I need to learn all these new things and that book was about Windows 10 and there was a mobile device management section and then I learned about Intuin so that's what it is so I searched quickly and you have to mobile device management so it's saying MDM uh, there is another name for um, into it's in tune and so this is the I think if memory serves me correct Intune was the old way of handling mobile devices with Azure Active Directory it's all consolidating one and Azure Active Directory uh, onward will <coughs> Uh, manage not only your desktop PCs it will manage everything mobile devices uh, as well so <clears throat> oh it's done when I clicked on activate and it was going through and it was says it will take a few hours so I wanted to show you let's see manage devices do I see anything admin portal nothing here yet so they set me up with Intune subscription or whatnot. Uh, my FO devices. So let's go back and refresh this page and see if we get everything or not. And we got everything. Okay. <laughs> this is exciting. So uh, <laughs> I just gave it a try, you know, seriously. I just searched it and clicked on this link and I, I was like what the hell it's just a trial uh, if uh, I get it get it if I don't then I can simply read the uh, grayed out text so what are the policies so 
So what it's saying is that uh, Intune that you just like we saw lots of policies in Office 365. If you have created any policies in Intune for any device, that uh, policy has precedence over these policies. So these are just the policies for Office 365. We're going to review them. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Do you want to deploy this policy or not? If we, if you turn it on, the blue means on, gray means not. So one is block downloading files in the apps uh, on the mobile. Remember, it's we are talking about mobile. There is an app for uh, uh, computer PCs as well. Block taking screenshots. This applies only for Android. Even if they press the buttons, it they will not be able to take the screenshot. For Android, they haven't been able to implement it yet. Block copying files and contents within files. So, can block them from copying or copying a full file or any part of the file, like if it's a text file. Block printing files. So, do you you want them to f uh, print or not? Block backing up app data require app passcode like if you check it it will each time ask them to enter the passcode before they can get the app running block opening onedrive sharepoint files in other apps so <clears throat> with this policy in, on their mobile device they need to have the uh, onedrive client to access in any other app that they may have can access anything else from onedrive but for this account on uh, on with your organization they will not be able to access uh, um, the files so like if there is a third party app or something no encrypt app data when device is locked so uh, when the user click uh, like uh, they are playing on, uh, working on their uh, mobile device and as soon as they uh, hit the button and screen goes dark encryption happens and whatever what they were uh, decrypted data gets encrypted so without that passcode even if somebody has access to it they cannot see the data because it's encrypted on the drive on the on that little hard disk or storage medium on that uh, uh, mobile device require f365 sign in every seven days so it's not like that hey it's their app and their mobile device they just need the password to log into this phone itself and then everything is open for us most of the phone time the phone apps that that's the case right in this case if we click it blue and deploy this policy so that user regardless will be uh, forced to sign in every seven days when a device is offline if the device is offline and so the app on that device will actually uh, every 90 minutes will see if the users has uh, has or tried to access uh, um, office 365 or onedrive sorry not 365 onedrive days to wipe app data after 720 days so if that uh, we saw that we can actually within, within tune we can erase that uh, any data that belongs to our organization from a user's device and we saw that in the mail one as well and we actually played with it so it's the same thing is that if that they had this like uh, each user can have five uh, and, uh, uh, devices right they can they have five licenses to install on different devices so one device it has not they have not worked on that device and that device hasn't been accessing uh, our uh, network of OneDrive whatever for uh, s about two years 720 365 365 yep about two years uh, give and take so if not then completely wipe that uh, everything and you know make a clean slate uh, clean slate yep so this is it about device success i'm actually very happy with this that i got this in tune and so i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share see you in the next one